Well, hello and welcome to The View from Tarot, a look at sports, entertainment, celebrities, politics, world news, all through an intuitive lens. And I am your intuitive messenger. So thanks for watching last week's. I um, got quite a few views um, about what I normally get on a daily basis. So I was very thrilled with that. I've got my iPad right in front of me. I have not opened. And if you're not familiar with examiner.com, it's a um, like an online kind of like newspaper type thing um, or like e-newspaper. Um, but I used to write a column for them and they still send me their updates. And they're usually updates so you can kind of like tap in and write your own thing. Um, but it's like what's hot, what's going on. And I'm going to open up the one that they sent me this morning. I have not even looked at it. So uh, it'll be fun just to tap right in, see what's going on. So um, Colorado flood. Flood. <laughs> I remember talking about that a little bit before. More than 500 accounted for as devastating rain looms. Wow, I remember having a dream about that um, sometime last week. So very interesting. I'm just going to read these. When Spirit tells me to tap in, I'm going to pull some cards. Syrian minister calls chemical weapons deal a Russian war victory. No, world's oldest man dies at 112. Your old was self-taught musician. Interesting. Coal miner and gin rummy aficionado. I'm told to pull a card for that. Um, Ten of swords. Very interesting. Um, a lot of like distraught distress there. Um, I'd be curious to find out if he actually took his own life or not. Um, and the reason I, you know, I say that, my grandfather at 95 took his own life. He was done living, just done, 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 done. And I, I honor you, Grandpa. Um, Larue was his name. Um, my family didn't handle it very well, but uh, they're all dealing with their own stuff, as we all are. Um, Greyhound overturns. Hurricane Ingrid kills two before making landfall in eastern Mexico. Just, to, I'm told, justice. So there's something about justice there. Um, I tell you what, that really feels like, and this is what I'm hearing from Spirit, it was almost not that two people had to die for this, but, you know, we're not going to talk about soul contracts here. That's on my other, other channel. But it feels like this was almost like re, I'm tilling of the garden, the justice, bringing things back into balance for Earth. Um, a lot of times when the devastation happens to areas it's like new growth can finally happen and that's figurative and literal so who knows what's going on down there that'll be interesting to see rockstar confirms gta 5 i have no idea what that means um but i'm told to pull three cards on that rockstar confirms gta 5 in quotes gta 5 psn preload times what language are they speaking people um so for this i'm pulling Nine of swords, a lot of worry and sleepless over this, but three of, of coins, so good hard work, um, as well as five of coins. Not going to pan out to be the money it's that they definitely thought. So I don't know what that means, but I feel like the money is not going to be there. You're going to get paid what you're worth and not anything more. That's what it kind of feels like to me. Um, all right, fall preview. The new 2013 lineup seems to be lackluster at best. Um Let's let's definitely look into that the fall lineup. So ship coming in. I, I feel like there's going to be something very interesting there. Um, and I'm being drawn to the three, the big three, the big three. I actually feel like it will be better than than these pe people are saying, especially like for the big three: ABC, NBC, CBS. I feel like there's going to be some really good things there. Um, stuff that I'm hearing stuff that we need a lot more laughter. Um, a little less, <laughs> a little less conversation. A lot more laughter and a little less reality TV. So, boy, that would be nice. Um, I enjoy a little bit of both. Um, let's see. Dexter co-star talks divorce. Miss, let's see. Weekend TV new Miss America to be crowned Sunday night. <laughs> let's look into that. Let me pull that ship card back in. Um, I need to shuffle some of these. So, new Miss America to be crowned tonight. Um, that'll be fun. Gosh, I already got the feeling she's not born in America. So that'll be interesting. So Ace of Cups, definitely going to be emotional, which we all can figure that out. Um, I tell you, this is my coins. This is, and I love this card. I feel like she will be Latino, um, or darker skin. Not, um, not somebody from Iowa. Um, <laughs> but, um, and I have a feeling she'll be from a wealthy family. That's interesting too. It feels like she'll be from a wealthy family. Somehow it's going to be a throwback. I almost feel like this person will have Miss America lineage, like her mom was a runner up or in Miss America. So I feel like there's something like a throwback to this, or she's been in it before, like two or three times. Um, definitely something's reminiscing. 
Um, very fruitful, very abundant. I think it will be well watched, well received, um, and wish. Lots of everything is cups except for one, or actually two. Um, but the wish card here. So, and this is about the, the, the business of Miss America. They're, whatever they're hoping to wish for, which I'm sure they're wishing for, good money, good ratings, anything like that, I think it will be. Like I said, I don't feel like she was born in the U.S. I don't know if that's allowed or not. I can't remember. I feel like she's got a Latin feel or at least a little darker skin than white Iowa America. Um, well, I got freckles. Um, and what else did I say? Oh, lineage, like parents, mother, or somebody was, there's some kind of family connection from the past there. Um, let's see. Oh, Paula Dean breakdown in tears and first public appearance since the racism scandal. Are you kidding? I am totally diving into that one. Um, love me some Paula Dean temperance. This was, this was a life lesson for her. This was, and I've seen nothing on this, but this was definitely a life lesson for her. She, she brought this in, um, in the sense of growth and change from a much higher level. Uh, she's definitely going to come out of this stronger than before. She is a place of peace right now, complete and utter peace and freedom from all. She is free from crap. Um, she is at this point where now if she lost all her sponsors and everybody, everything, she would be fine with it. She would realize she's in, she's enough and all that stuff does not dictate who she is. She would be fine going back to making chicken on the side of the road or something, but definitely was definitely a trial for her. And she is much more, um, more aware of the mental processes and things um, and then law. She is ready to party, bust it out. I wouldn't be surprised if she's not dancing a little bit on TV. Dancing with the Stars. Paula Dean on Dancing with the Stars. Um, I bet you they asked her. I bet you they've asked her. I don't think she, for some reason I feel hip stuff and she probably says no to that. So that would be interesting if they wouldn't because that would be a great, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, Bre rebuilding of your brand even though I don't feel like she's into that. Um, so, NASA will host two-day social for a hundred of its social media followers. Nope, not going there. Um, I tell you, judging controversy, let's see, judging controversy can't steal Mayweather's thunder and win over it. Canelo? I knew there was some big fight. Um, so let me pull into that. I'm being told to check into that. Um, uh, Knight of Swords, definitely this young energy flying all over the place. Definitely going to be something new beginning. Um, I don't know, the other guy, not Mayweather, the other guy, Canelo. I'm seeing something brand new beginning. I almost feel like he's going to get out of this. Um, I almost feel like this acting career is coming out of this for him. So I'd be surprised if something big to come out of it. I, I could be wrong and it may be Mayweather, but I'm not sure. Um, but there's definitely a lot of tears and, and loss and major frustration over this. Um, Web caught up. I mean, there's definitely, ugh, there's, I don't even want to tap into that anymore. The, it's, there's so much that's just for show and drama, um, which is not a lot of fun. So um, there's some good stuff right there. I tell you, let me dive in. I got another one of these. This was from the other day, from Friday, I believe. Let me just see if anything's here. Britain, France, hail Syria disarmament plan. I'm just going to pull from the middle of the deck. Emotionally, it would be a great thing to happen. It feels like that. Um, let's see. TV preview. Now, after eight seasons, 94 episodes, De Dexter prepares for its final act. Ooh, page of swords. I feel like there's going to be a little Dexter. Like like a child that there's like it's gonna be like a child cutting people up, um, very very bizarre. Um, I feel like love. Um, I don't know. I don't follow the show at all, so I don't know if Dexter has like a child or not. But I almost feel like there's a little Dexter gonna pop up and 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 be there. <laughs> a little Dexter. <laughs> I'm glad y'all can't read my mind, people. Um, but let's see what else. Japan's new rocket blasts off. And laptop control launch. Ooh, spiritual, spiritual stuff going on there. Definitely faith. Um, wow, that feels very, very off, very alien and off planet. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they don't bring back something more about like aliens and off planets and things like that. Be very, very interesting there. Something going on there. Um, Justin Bieber sparks Batman versus Superman. Super. <laughs> Super member. I almost said super member. Boy, the Dexter stuff is, is, is that's where it's all coming from. Little Dexter. Um, Justin Bieber sparks Batman versus Superman casting rumors with script selfie. I don't know what that means. Is a selfie, I think, when they take their own thing. Um, so 
he's trying to bring a shift in for him. It's like he's trying to get the roll. Like he's trying to get the roll. Uh, Moon card, he's getting kind of blocked by his own self. Um, I tell you, he's <sighs> before the end of this year or within January, he's going to have a big stumble. Not like a fall. Not like a you know a bad thing. Not like a Britney Spears meltdown. But um, just there's going to be something that's going to happen with him. It'll be interesting to see. So um, all that being said, interesting stuff. Just I, this is me rambling. Um, some of you may love it. Some of you may go on. What is he doing? I don't understand this. But um, this is where I get to have just a little bit of fun. And drink my Starbucks. And it's from a place. That is Gold Coast. My first cup was Anniversary Blend. They ran out. Now they're serving Gold Coast. Boy, that's good coffee. So, and I will be going to the original Starbucks sometime before the end of this week because I will be in Seattle for a little bit of a break. Interesting thing happened. Um, uh, Tiffany's her name, and I've been confusing her with Lovey today, Lovita, our other Pomeranian, which you can see that whole picture frame is nothing but pictures of Lovey um, when she was alive. Uh, she passed away a year and a half ago, but uh, this morning, Tiffany had pooped in the family room on a pee pee pad. But, and I saw it, but it was so early and dark when I got up and let them out, I thought, I'll get it later. But then about an hour and a half later, when Fabian was sitting on the toilet, um, she, she brought her poop into him and set it down on the rug in front of him. And he's like, oh my gosh, she's got cat poop. And I said, no, it's not cat poop. It's her own. She was cleaning up. <laughs> she was cleaning up because he's sitting on the toilet so he could use paper towel and just drop it right in. I know this is too much information, but it was just wild. Like she literally was just cleaning up after herself and just really bizarre moment. So, um, but I've been calling her loving all day today. Very interesting. I wonder what's going on with that energy. And at one point they were outside eating and I was doing the water just a few minutes ago and I, I kind of looked over and I said, are you loving? And Shelton goes and just stares at me from eating food and he just stayed there for like 15 seconds. And I don't know if you recognize the energy of her voice, which he spent most of his life with her, you know, like 10 years with her. Um, but then I said it again and nothing. So it was very interesting. Very, very interesting. Do I think this is her? No. Do I feel like there's an aspect of her there? Yes. There's something there. Um, we'll figure it out. Maybe she's a walk-in. I don't know. But um, she's right here laid down. Oh. And Sheldon's here too. They will not, she will not share a bed with him. So Sheldon has to sleep outside the bed. But I put towel down. So um, all that being said, oh, I got onto Instagram today. And I think Instagram does video pretty easily. So that I might be able to post either with a YouTube capture or Instagram um, some of my trip on Alaska. How much more fun would that be to post YouTube videos, you know, with icebergs behind me and, and you know, things like and humpback whales. So I'm um, definitely going to have a fun time. I'll still stay connected with you guys, but all in fun and leisure activities, uh, not producing the videos um, to create more work for me while I'm on vacation. So just so you know, the animals are taken care of. We've got someone spending the night. Someone comes in midday to feed them and let them out. So there will be here, someone in our house almost the entire time. Thank you, Brenda. Um, she's there just a few days. Um, we've got somebody else other than that. So have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys um, tomorrow for Monday's Intuitive Messenger um, channel on YouTube. And this has been The View from Terra. Tuesday night, got a uh, virtual lab class going on. Wednesday night, got a... A blog talk radio show going on. I'm solo that night, so I'll get through a lot of reading. So have a wonderful evening. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.